What's up guys, Frankie Fennel here and I am switching from a carnivore diet to a plant-based diet. So those of you who are unfamiliar with the lipid hypothesis, it was based off of some research done in the early 1900s where they fed this rabbit cholesterol and it clogged the rabbit's arteries. So that's basically what the 1970, late 1970 USDA dietary guidelines were based off of that initial research done on rabbits. So I figured why not look at what a rabbit's diet is and that can answer a lot of questions about how we should be eating now. So uh, before I go into these studies, uh, you know, it's important to note that we see this in nature all the time. We see various animals in the ape family consuming their own feces. Th those animals, they even throw feces at you. They are telling you to eat. They're giving you their nutrition that they normally save for themselves to you. That's why they throw, that's why those animals throw feces. We, we see it in, in ruminant animals, certain ruminant animals consume their own feces. They regurgitate the, the plant matter to digest it again. And the reason we see some animals that eat plant foods eat feces and some of them don't is because the different in digestive systems. In like a cow, they have much more complex digestive systems so they don't have to, to eat their own fecal matter. In, in the case of other animals, they do, especially in the case of rabbits. So, plenty of examples in nature. Uh, there's plenty of anthropological evidence that uh, humans use various uh, preparation methods, stores methods, consumption methods for doing this. Um, so, the first study we can look at is uh, coprophagy in rabbits, auto ingestion of heart feces. And all this study basically does is it goes over that although rabbits have two types of feces, soft and hard feces, and that the soft feces is more nutrient dense than the hard feces, they still consume both of them. The soft feces for the nutrient content and the hard feces for digestive regularity as well as uh, it just seems to be a necessity in their diet. So what this means to us is regardless of the consistency of our fecal matter, it should be consumed in roughly equal parts soft and hard uh, feces. Uh, the second study, nutrition of the domestic rabbit, essentially goes over how unique rabbit's digestive systems are in the sense that they're incredibly similar to humans because they can't digest fiber. Their ability to digest fiber is very low, yet they still subsist on a primarily plant-based diet. Uh, it just seems very evident that uh, the way these rabbits eat, they ingest their hard feces, they follow this plant-based diet, they don't digest fiber. It's just so interesting uh, that there's so many parallels between rabbits and human digestive system. Uh, colonic formation of soft feces in rabbits, a role for endogenous prostaglandins. I was a little bit confused on this study because endogenous prostaglandins are, to my understanding, from the prostate. So uh, it would have been done on specifically male rabbits. Uh, but this pretty much goes over that uh, they produce hard and soft feces in circadian rhythm, which means uh, depend on the, the proper sun cycle as well as eating habits. So uh, what we can really tell from this study is that you need to have a consistent daily schedule in order to optimally ingest your feces and have optimal digestive function and health on a plant-based diet. Uh, you know, that means waking up at the same time, going to sleep at relatively the same time, trying to stay in line with the science sun cycles as well as uh, fairly consistent eating habits. This will make your bowel movements more regular, more consistent, and allow you to ingest uh, certain amounts at certain times of the day, having a, a pretty organized schedule. So the final study, uh, molecular analysis of microbiota in heart feces from healthy rabbits, uh, medicated with long-term oral meloxicam. So oral meloxicam is a, a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug. And uh, with, what this study pretty much means is that there was no effect on the microbiome of the gut after uh, 21 days of this anti-inflammatory drug. So what this means is uh, pretty much regardless of inflammation levels in the body, uh, the the microbiome was not altered. So this means that regardless of what diet you come from, uh, 
you will succeed on this diet, granted you follow you know, pr pretty much the other uh, constituents that we went over in this video. So, uh, I know a lot of people are averse to the smell and, and the general of, you know, people it smells bad, but if you're following a proper plant-based diet, low in fats, high in whole foods, you have mild, pleasant, clean smelling bowel movements that vary equally pretty much between soft and hard feces. So not only is it is it pleasant tasting, nice texture, if you follow the diet properly, you don't have to worry about not having too much hard feces or not having too much soft feces. So uh, I know a lot of you guys might be thinking, oh maybe I could put this into my steak in the morning, but you don't really comp want to compromise the texture of this by blending it up. The soft feces, it might be okay to put this in the blender, but uh, the hard feces you definitely don't want to, and ideally you don't consume too much water with uh, the meals that you're consuming the feces, and as the rabbits, don't consume water. Uh, so there, as I said guys, there's plenty of evidence in nature, anthropological evidence showing this, so uh, if you guys have any uh, practical questions about how to do this, if you guys want to know anything more about this, uh, please, please feel free to let me know. Uh, but outside of that, thank you guys for watching. I will put these studies in the comments. You guys can interpret them themselves. And I will try to also put examples of the, the, the stuff that occurs in nature. And I'm sure there's, there's plenty of other things that uh, occur in nature that you guys can bring up or that uh, plenty of other studies related to this that uh, will come up in the comments. You guys are wondering how I didn't fucking laugh making this video. I did a couple times to start, but I had to... I messed up, like, the framing and the lighting a couple times, so... By the time I actually filmed this, the shot that I wanted, I was just, like, over it. They are... <laughs> oh, God, this is so fucking stupid. Mm. You guys are gonna think I'm fucking nuts. Holy shit.